zero and one, true and false is false. Okay, so we get zero. Okay, only when one and one, the result would be one. Otherwise, result would be zero for that certain bit position. Okay, the last one, bitwise exclusive or or x or okay would be the result would be one only when zero x all with one or the other case is one x all with zero okay when both bits are not the same right zero and one we get one 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 we get zero 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 we get Zero. Okay. Doing the bitwise operation, the numbers have to have equal size or the same length. Otherwise, you cannot do it. Otherwise, it has to be specified of how to take care of that. Okay. See that these two numbers have the same length. What would be the length of those strings? 2 plus 4 plus 4, 10, right? The length of each string is equal to 10. And uh, we see like a little bit of space uh, between um, some bits, okay? These are nothing. They just put them apart to make it more readable. readable. Okay, now... We finished the concept in section one. We move now we move on to the next section. Number two Propositional equivalence. Okay. The first definition says that any compound proposition is called tautology. Tautology only when it is always true, always. Okay. If it is always false, that proposition is called contradiction. If we cannot find the value either true or false, that would be contradiction or tautology. Neither of these we call contingency, but it has to be proposition, right? Proposition means we can find the value. So contingency is means sometimes we get true, sometimes we get false. It's not always true, not always false. Okay, let's see some examples. Like one proposition P. P always not P is always true, right? No matter what P is, P N with not P is always false. So this compound statement P always not P is a tautology and P N with not P is a, con a contradiction, right? Let's see the meaning of logical equivalence. Two propositions P and Q ecologically equivalent if P is by conditional with Q, right? P and Q are the same or always topology. We use the notation this sign P Q when both P and Q are logically equivalent. In Example number two, 
we can show that not of P of Q is logically equivalent with not P and not Q. Okay, how to do that? We just create a like truth table. Okay, we have two propositions P and Q. Put them and then put all the possible logic values of P and Q. Two variables, so there are four possibility, right? Two true, two false, false true, and false false. And then we find out if the first compound statement, what would be the value of that? We obtain this column. Okay, what does it mean? The first three cases are false. The last case is true. So it means that this compound statement is not tautology, right? Because it's not always true, not contradiction, because it's not always false. So what would it be? Contingency. Okay. Let's see the second compound statement. We can find the value of it. And so we obtain this column. Once we compare this column and this column, we see that they are exactly the same. So these two statements are <coughs> logically equivalent. Doing this way, we can verify several statements. Okay, If there are some questions asking you to prove or disprove, any two statements, if they are equivalent, we can do that, right? Like showing if this is true, logically equivalent, or this one, we can find out the answer. Okay, now let's see uh, the summary of like some laws. Logical law, logic laws here. The first one is called identity laws. Okay. For proposition P, P and with true, true, okay, is logically equivalent with P, right? P or false is equal to P. Domination laws, okay, dominate, means that true or false would dominate the proposition if we have or operation. P or true, anything or with true is always true. Anything and with false is always false. So this is domination law. Next one, idempotent. Like uh, if you have multiple ident identical propositions, we can simplify the logic, right? Because P or P is P. True or true is true. False or false is false. Okay, we simplify the logic using this law. Next one is double negative law. We put double negative. Not of not true is true, right? Not true is false. Not of not true is not false, so it's true, right? So the logic can be simplified. Or if we switch the position, okay? P or Q is equivalent with Q or P, same as for the AND operation. This is commutative law. 